Hello, my name is Josh Crosby, Director of Transportation for Higley Unified School District. Each day, more than 480,000 school buses carry more than 25 million students to and from school. These school buses are designed and built to protect the occupants inside and have many safety features, making school buses the safest form of ground transportation in the world. The State of Arizona Department of Public Safety requires all school-age students to practice evacuating a school bus twice each year. This bus drill is similar to the fire drills you practice at your school. It is important that all students participate in the drill even if they don't ride the bus to and from school. In the future, they may ride a bus on a field trip or move to an area where they will need to ride a bus. Before we cover school bus safety equipment and evacuation procedures, we'd like to review the school bus rules. Remember to always follow the bus rules. Follow the directions of the driver or egg immediately when asked. Remain seating facing forward and out of the aisle until the bus arrives at your destination and the entrance door is opened. Remember, when the entrance door is closed, all passengers should be seated. Keep all parts of your body inside the bus and hands to yourself at all times. Talk quietly as you would in your classroom and use only appropriate language. Bottle water with a lid is the only allowable food or drink to be consumed on the bus. No glass bottles, animals, or insects shall be brought on board. Keep the aisle clear at all times. This includes feet, legs, backpacks, and bags. Do not tamper with the bus safety equipment or vandalize any part of the bus. You will be held responsible for the cost of any damage. Remember, riding the bus is a privilege, not a right. Failure to follow the rules will result in disciplinary action and the suspension of bus rights. Students, make sure when you're waiting for your bus, you arrive at the scheduled stop five minutes before the arrival time of your bus. Make sure also that you stay out of the street as well as respect the property where your bus stop is located. Do not run toward the bus. Wait until the bus stops and the door is open before walking toward the bus. No pushing or shoving. At school, stay behind the blue line. Do not stand up on the bus until the bus comes to your stop and the bus doors open. If you have to cross the street, always go 10 feet in front of the bus and wait for the bus driver to give you the signal. Never cross behind a bus. Hi, I'm Tim Harrison, Supervisor of Transportation. In the next few minutes, we'll take you through the safety equipment of the school bus. Later, your teacher will walk you out to a bus or you'll be able to look at the safety features and practice exiting through the rear or side emergency exit. School buses across the state are all equipped with the same safety equipment. So whether you attend Higley Unified School District or another school district, the safety information is all the same. Each bus is equipped with a fire extinguisher. The fire extinguisher is always red and located in front of the bus near the driver. Never use a fire extinguisher unless you're directed by your driver. And remember, if everybody's off the bus, never return to the bus to put out the fire and always say a safe distance away. Buses are also equipped with a first aid kit and a body fluid cleanup kit. These are located at the front of the bus. In the event of an emergency, you may be asked to take the first aid kit. If you do not know which is the first aid kit, you can take them both. There are three safety triangles located in the front of the bus kept in a red container. These triangles are used to warn motorists that your bus is stopped on the roadway. The driver will determine when the triangles are to be used and direct the students as needed. All of our school buses are equipped with a two-way radio. These are not AM FM radios. These are radios used to contact other buses and our dispatch center. In an emergency and the driver cannot use the radio, students may pick up and explain the situation to our dispatcher. Push the button on the side of the radio. Tell the dispatcher what is occurring. Not sure where you're at? Look around you. Is there a Starbucks? Is there a McDonald's? Radios all have a caller ID, so the dispatcher will know who's calling in. All of our buses have GPS tracking, so we will be able to find you. In the event of an immediate emergency, you do not have to stay on the bus to call the dispatcher. If it is safe to do so, you can hang the radio outside of the driver's window 
and use it outside of the bus. School buses have many emergency exits. How many exits do you think your bus has? The bus has two roof hatches, four push-out windows, and a side door. And of course, the front door and back window serve as emergency exits as well. The front door is also the safest exit on the bus. Let's take a look at each of the emergency exits. You will notice that all of the exits are marked and have directions on operating them. To operate a window exit, lift up on the red handle and push the window out. You will hear an alarm sound indicating to the driver that the window is opened. Next, let's look at a roof hatch. You may see the roof hatch partially open to allow fresh air in the bus. This is something your driver will do. Students should never try to open a roof hatch for ventilation. Whether the roof hatch is closed or open for ventilation, it can still be used for emergencies. To operate in an emergency, twist the red handle and push on the hatch. You will hear an alarm notifying the driver that an emergency exit is open. Depending on the type of bus you are riding on, there will be either a back door or a side door for emergency evacuations. To operate either of these doors, lift up on the red handle and push the door out. The last emergency exit on the bus is the front door. As we said before, this is the safest exit on a bus and should be used first unless blocked or if there is an urgent need to get everyone off the bus. Depending on the bus, there is either a manual handle to operate the door or a switch or valve to operate the door in an emergency. Follow the directions printed near the door. During an emergency, follow the instructions of the bus driver, an aide, or an older student. Exit the bus in an orderly manner, one seat at a time, alternating rows. Leave your belongings, such as your backpack and your lunches, behind. Never jump out of the bus. Sit with your legs in front of you and slide out. Use the arms of the helpers assigned. These helpers will be assigned by the bus driver or an older student. Not all emergencies require you to evacuate the school bus. Some emergencies, the safest place to be is inside the school bus. The bus driver will let you know which is best. During a real emergency, you'll want to exercise caution when exiting the bus. Remember, there may be traffic around the bus. As you exit, everyone should stay together and meet in a safe place off of the road and at least 100 feet from the bus. In a few minutes, your teacher will walk your class out to the school parking lot where you will board a school bus. Please sit two students per seat. The bus driver will review emergency exit procedures and you will exit the bus through an emergency exit. If you have any questions, you can ask your teacher when you return to class. Thank you for following the school bus rules and helping us keep school buses the safest form of ground transportation.